I'm real life struggling right now. Y'all know what this is? Ta da! You know, I gotta do a gray and black combo to match the truck. Yo, everybody do me a favor. Go in the comments and hashtag strap season. It's another lovely day in Wonderland. We're gonna go ahead and get started on this project. So I wanna go ahead and get, I waited till now to do it, even though it's like two o'clock in the afternoon, cloudy mostly cloudy right now all the way up until about five then the sun is gonna start coming out a little bit more and let me show you guys what i got now um, i just went and picked this up this is an extension this is going to be for the fuel filter under the hood um got a couple of joint sets of course we found that 28 millimeter that we needed didn't have an uh a swivel filter wrench so just decided to grab one got some hopper type tough gloves this is the fire extinguisher. Of course, the fuel filters. We're gonna be putting on the license plate and everything in the uh, registration. So yeah, these are the LED light bulbs. I believe, yeah, they should all be the same size, I think. Yeah, they should all be, so I'm gonna be replacing those ugly yellow light bulbs inside of the um, truck. Yeah, I don't know what this is. I think this might be the cabin filter, not the engine filter. But they said I needed, I was missing a cab filter. So um, I'll be replacing that too. All right, guys. First thing we want to do. Oh, boy. Y'all see it right here. 28 mil and let's see if we can get a little uh, I'm probably gonna need a extra extension there's a slight angle to it Now I do have, do have that right there to catch the fuel. So I'm gonna go ahead and release. So do see it draining out. I just hope I got it in the right spot. Oh shit. Shit, I almost failed. I was trying it right here, but it just wasn't working. So I just kind of finessed it in between whatever that is and just like butter, baby. It's coming out now. I'm tripping. I ain't got my gloves. Well, so much for trying to catch it all. Damn, I should've got a large baby hand, motherfucker. Okay, it's off. Huh. 
how in the hell do I take that shit out? Do I twist it? Got a new O-ring. Housing. Move filter cartridge from housing. By hand, do not pry up against the housing and it's damaging. That ain't no screwdriver. There we go. Let's see here. Okay, yeah, there we go. Now we got some action. Okay, so just a little bit of pry action, that's all you need. Little bit of pry action. So with that little bit of pry action, oh my goodness. Oh shit. All right. All right. So this is my old, it's the old filter. Where's this O ring at? Let me see if I can feel around in there. I'm not, I'm not seeing or feeling the O ring. Let's see. It says it says puts it in the in the cap. I'm not seeing the O-ring in here though. Put it in the cap. It says puts it in the cap. I don't know how far down it's supposed to go. Is it supposed to go that far down? Which I think. Let's go back to the instructions one more time. O-ring goes around. Oh, I see it. Okay, I see it, I see it. It's around the actual housing itself, it looks like. Yeah, that, yeah, okay, 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 okay. So, the O-ring should be, oh yeah, I see it, okay. I see it now. Now the tricky part is, trying to get this away you know what i'm saying using your gloves now i'm not applying any pressure to the actual housing itself i'm just trying to grab this o-ring off yeah there it is all right yeah just to make a little little space so i can grab it so i got big ass hands boom all right bam old o-ring all right so now we're gonna put the new o-ring in okay so we got the new o-ring on and new filter all right i'll take this new filter it looks way different uh -oh. and we gonna gently just slide it in all right hold on let's see Okay, bam, okay, snap right in, boom. So, go and twist this down. And also, I'm going to close by turning it clockwise now. Close that. Everything feels good and smooth. Okay. All right. So, I'll stick this back off in now. All right. Should be good right there. I didn't want to over tighten it. That is going to finish us up for the front. Let's grab this stuff. Really wasn't hard at all. And that's going to charge me $380 to do that. Crazy.
It's dirty as hell under here. I'm trying to unlatch it. It's just so dirty up on this motherfucker. And these. This dirt keep getting in my eye. All right, got it. All right, so I got that unplugged. And so that's the stickler. That motherfucker will not come off. Woo! Hell no. This shit's bad as hell. I'm trying to see if I can grip this motherfucker. I don't know if I can't do it with that one. I don't know, people. I do not know. I want to make sure y'all picking up what I'm putting down. So, meanwhile, while I'm over here trying to take this off, I forgot that I bought a filter wrench. So, I went back. Can you see me? I went back, got the filter filter wrench right here. Go filter fish. Go filter fish. I got the filter wrench right here, and I got it around the bottom part of it. So I'm trying to just twist it counterclockwise. Okay. And I can't even get it around the top of it. So I'm going around the bottom of it. The filter wrench is definitely clutch in this whole situation. I'm gonna need a bad ass shower after this. Okay. Alright. Did I get a little bit on you? My bad. Alright, guys. Now that we finally got the old one off. Here's the new one. So, uh, let's go ahead and take the plastic off. But I can't say this. I, this has been my first time changing fuel filters on anything. Um, I really kind of enjoy doing the, uh, the maintenance on my truck. It's kind of cool, it's a challenge. I like being challenged. So, to get, we still need to, oh shit, we still need to keep this, move this out the way. We still need to keep this, still need to keep this. So, how we go about taking that off is, take some pliers and gently, Twist counterclockwise. There we go. Right. Sounds a little weird. Probably because of the like O ring that's in there. Okay guys, so this, this little part that sticks out is a sensor. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. All right, so the old ring, the old O-ring actually stayed inside the old filter. And of course that being the other O-ring. So I'm gonna leave that in there. Then of course it came with new filters. I mean, new filters, high, new O-rings. do is I'm going to slide this on top I don't know what happened to my gloves but I feel like they were slowing me down got that on there then
I'm like dirty as hell. Hold this down. As we tighten it, I think that's about good. Yeah, that's good. That'll be good. Putting. Put the new O-ring on there. Connected it back. Let's see which way that I go. I go the this, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that back up. Now, let's go put this back on the truck. When putting this back on, you're gonna have to push up a little bit. All right, push up on it. We got that new O ring on there, so it's gonna be kind of tough. Yeah. Should be good. Go ahead and connect this back. All right, let's connect it back and we're done. And that's how you change two fuel filters in about three hours. All right, so the son decided they wanted to come back out. Thank goodness, right after I finished. So let's see. Moment of truth says. Uh oh. I got an open door sign. What does that mean? I gotta replace the door. I hear something. Okie dokie. So something that I didn't do the right way. Oh shit. I don't think I closed this thing all the way. All right, with this, I just want to give you guys an update because I didn't cover everything. So, um, of course, I left the um, fuel release thing knob. I turned it the wrong way when I originally put it on, so I tightened it back up. That's why all the fuel was leaking out. So just for anybody that wants to do it themselves, make sure everything's tightened back up so you won't have fuel leaking. Then get back into your truck, turn the ignition switch on, and then off, and then back on again, then back off again and then back on again and then off again and then the next time you can crank it all the way up that's what i did made my truck start right back up that's why my truck still works so back to the video lefty loosey body tidy right well we finished the fuel filters and i don't know i'm still in my zone I'm thinking to go ahead and knock this headlight out because my headlight still, of course, has moisture and that shit irritates me like crazy. Also, the brake light being out, I want to go ahead and fix that too. So I think I might just go ahead and take a stab at it. Brake light, easy. Um, headlight's going to be a little bit more just because I believe you got to take the front grill off and everything. So, But I mean, I'm kind of like in my zone right now. So it's like, why not just do it now? Oh, uh, let's get to it. I got this headlight um, baking in the sun. The sun is trying to go down now, but I put this light on top of the thing so it can dry out the rest of the water. Hopefully it does. Um, I didn't see where the water was coming in at. I'm thinking they was probably missing a cap or something like that and didn't put it on and then water got in there some type of way, I hope. And so I ain't gotta deal with this shit again. But uh, hopefully this uh, the rest of that water dries up sometime soon. And uh, you know, then I'm gonna switch out the bulb. I already switched out the driver's side. It looks pretty good. 
And so now, yeah, no more yellow light. No more yellow light. We got them white lights. LEDs, baby. So I just need to put this one back in. See, I got the lights on right now. But I just need to put this one back on once it's done drying. And uh, we should be good to go. All right, guys. So before I make the final adjustments, I just wanted you to see the before. This right here is the before. And then this is the after. So hold on, let me make sure. I just baked it. So can y'all tell the difference at all? No, it's probably kind of hard to see on camera, but this is like a really white light. And this is really yellow. So I'm about to go ahead and change this light out. Most of the water dried and uh, evaporated already. I'm about to clean the light up and, you know, put this other light bulb in and we should be good to go.